Today we have the guest artist Teddy Parker. I'm going to show her peony paintings and all her wonderful uh, compositions. Let's get started. Every once in a while a painter will come along that sort of sets the world on fire and Teddy Parker is one of those painters, one of those daily painters. She paints a lot and you can find her on dailypainters.com and I'll put the link below and also she has a very strong following on Instagram. Right now she doesn't have a website or a blog. Um, she is extraordinary. I find her extraordinary and uh, you know because she's so popular I can't be the only one who does so. I mean so many of us are doing daily paintings but there's something about Teddy that kind of sets her apart and I think that it is of course her painting ability but it's also her ability to uh, put compositions together that are really interesting and she uses um, things that uh, the people don't usually or don't often use as subjects. The other thing that she does that I find really fascinating is many women artists, me being one of them, will use kitchen items like plates and cups and bowls and those kinds of things. And uh, she, she does some of that, but, but she's not wedded to that in any way. Um, her paintings are small. They tend to be about 8 inches by 8 inches. Uh, if she does larger work, I'm not aware of it. Uh, these things just sell like gangbusters. The minute she puts one up, it, it sells. So, you know, if you want to follow her and if you think that you want a painting of hers, I would grab it now because those prices are only going to keep going up. Uh, she has a family and lives in Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, and I don't know very much about her, but she was very generous to let me share her artwork today, which I completely appreciate. These are um, acrylic or oil paintings, I'm not sure, but I, as I always say in these guest videos, I still think that watercolors can do anything that a oil painter does. I love how she is able to, you know, if you watch my channel, you know this is the thing that I love to do. You know, I love to look at value, shape, and, um, and simplify, and she does that. She does that exquisitely. This is one of my favorites because it's a study in white. And the values are just so perfect. And look at the simplicity of that. I mean, you could spend hours and hours and hours on something like this, or you can block it in and, and get it done, so to speak. And I just feel like she does that. The next one that's coming up is a really interesting composition. Not everybody will decide to paint shrimp on a plate with a <laughs> with lemon slices. You know, it's just, just what she does. Um, I do find that she's so popular that people are starting to um, copy her, um, I'm, I, and I don't mean stroke for stroke, but she's, she's influenced a lot of people. Here's a peony, which is, uh, you know, if you're a peony lover like I am, this is just the, the holy grail. This is just where you want to be. Just beautifully, beautifully done. Almost a little bit like photography in a way, uh, but uh, she's, she's just got the skill down. Here's something that I do see people copying of Teddy's is these balloons. <laughs> I don't know that anyone had thought about doing mylar balloons before. Uh, there's something very exuberant about her style, something very happy, something very accessible. Um, and when I say simple, I, I mean that in the, in the strongest uh, positive sense, that she isn't weighted down with details. She's, um, the other thing that I find that she's very interested in is patterns. See the pattern on the table underneath the peonies. Very bold in that way. I consider her a very bold painter. I would just imagine that she comes to the canvas with, with a big brush and, um, and doesn't sweat the small stuff. I could be completely wrong. You know, most of the, my painting friends that I know will share with me that they're filled with angst and, and doubt. But, but I don't get that feeling from her painting. So I'm just going to assume that uh, she's a pretty sunny, happy personality. Um, here's, a, a, it, this is just lovely. Lovely and um, I mean, right now I have some pansies and I think I might be influenced by that and get busy. They, she has some really interesting props. This is one of them. The penguins show up especially around Christmas time. She, she does a lot of the glass orbs, but you know, those, pen, those penguins just crack me up. So there's something about her that has some humor and that doesn't take things too seriously. Uh, here are some more peonies. I just think she's got it just exactly right. And um, you see how she's created not an island surrounded by ocean. She's willing to go off the sides of the uh, canvas, which I think is so important. And it's very impactful. She kind of, um, She's right in your face, but I mean that in a really good way. I don't mean that to sound negative. Uh, here's another example. I just don't know anybody that would 
think about painting something like this with the snow globe, with the snow coming down. So she's very original in her concepts, and then she's just a, a great painter beyond that. So I'm not surprised that she's taking the world by storm and that she's selling these things like, uh, like pancakes. I mean, hotcakes? What do they call it? <laughs> it just, it makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, there's something about her also that is such a signature style. The minute that a painting of hers comes up, you know it's hers. And that's true of a lot of people. But, um, but I think that um, she is creating kind of a new subset of people who, uh, who, are, who are creating paintings similar to this. But um, but not exactly like this, and and and, it, and it's great. You know, there is that fine line between being influenced and between copying. But I think she's got this well in hand, and and she cannot be copied. She's a very original voice right now in the art world. So I wanted to share that with you. Remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, master value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and thank you to Teddy Parker for being the guest artist. And I'll put all her information below. All right, see you next time. Bye bye.